hello everyone today i want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have 2 to the power of x is equals to x to the power of 32 and we solve this problem for the values of x and here our x should must be belongs to a natural number okay so it means that we solve this problem for the natural values of x so here uh, the very first thing we are going to do is here first we need to move all the variable terms in the left hand side and we move all the constant terms uh, in the left hand side and we move the variable terms in the right hand side uh, so for this uh, the very first step we are going to do is here first we need to move this variable term x uh, to the right hand side uh, and i hope so you like this video but if you have any other method in your mind uh, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so uh, here in order to uh, move this x to the right hand side we need to take the x root or 1 over x power on both of the sides so we write it as 2 to the power of x and its whole power is 1 over x is equals to x to the power of 32 and its whole power is 1 over x so here first we uh, take the x root on both of the sides uh, and now here after that we apply uh, the nice exponent law you know that if we have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by n so according to this exponent law here we need to multiply these two exponents and these two exponents as well so it will be written as 2 to the power of x multiplied by 1 over x is equals to x to the power of 32 multiplied by 1 over x so here we see that this x and x are cancelled out by each other and we get here 2 is equals to in the right hand side uh, according to this rule if you have uh, in the exponent two numbers are multiplied by each other we move one number inside the term so for this we move this one over x inside the term it will be written as uh, x to the power of one over x and its whole power is 32 and now here in the next step uh, we need uh, to move this 32 in the left hand side uh, so for this we need to take the 32 throughout on both of the sides uh, so that when we take 32 through it, it will be written as 2 to the power of 1 over 32 is equals to x to the power of 1 over x and its whole power 32 and its 32 root and it will be written as 1 over 32 and now here in the next step uh, in the left hand side we have this is 2 to the power of 1 over 32 and in the left hand side we have exponent to the exponent so uh, these two exponents are multiplied by each other and we will get here x to the power of 1 over x and it is multiplied by 32 with 1 over 32 so here you see that this 32 and this 32 are cancelled out by each other and uh, we will obtain here 2 to the power of 1 over 32 is equals to x to the power of 1 over x so now uh, you see here in the in the right hand side uh, we have the exponent is the reciprocal of its base so that we need to uh, make this type of conditions in the left hand side uh, so in order to make uh, the the exponent is the reciprocal of its base uh, for this we need some working in the left hand side uh, so that uh, for make this type of conditions here we need to multiply the exponent of uh, 2 by a 2 and it will be written as 1 over 32 and we multiply it by 2 and also divide it by 2 and it is equals to x to the power of 1 over x so here further in the next step uh, we move this 2 inside the term and it will be written as 2 square and its whole exponent is 1 over uh, here we multiply 32 with 2 and it is equals to x to the power of 1 over x so further in the next step uh, here we need more simplifications and it will be written as this is 2 square equals to 4 and its exponent is 1 over 32 times of 2 becomes here 64 and it is equals to x to the power of 1 over x 
and now here further in the next step uh, we need more simplifications uh, and now here uh, we just uh, repeat this process again and again until uh, we get here the uh, exponent is the reciprocal of its base okay uh, so here we again repeat the above process and we can again multiply the exponent of 4 by 2 and also divide by 2 and it will be written as 2 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 64 and this is equals to x to the power of 1 over x so now here in the next step uh, we again move this 2 inside the term and uh, we write this is 4 square and we multiply this 2 by 64 and it will be written as 1 over 2 multiplied by 64 is equals to x to the power of 1 over x so further in the next step we have this is 4 square and 4 square is equals to 16 and its whole power is 1 over 2 times of 64 is equals to 128 and it is equals to x to the power of 1 over x so now here in the next step uh, we again uh, repeat this process because uh, here we cannot uh, make the uh, exponent be the reciprocal of its base uh, so that here we again multiply and divide the exponent of this term by 2 and it will be written as 16 to the power of 2 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 1 over uh, 128 and it is equals to x to the power of 1 over x and now here in the next step we again move this 2 inside the term and it will be written as 16 square and its whole power is this is 2 is multiplied by 128 and it is written as 256 and it is equals to x to the power of 1 over x so further in the next step uh, we need more simplifications here and we easily get the values of uh, x uh, so here we know that uh, 16 square is also equals to 256 and its exponent is 256 and it is equals to x to the power of 1 over x so here uh, you see that uh, in the left hand side and right hand side we have exponent is the reciprocal of its basis so that now we need to compare both of the sides and when you compare its basis then you get our x is equals to 256 and when we compare the exponents then also you get 1 over x is equals to 1 over 256 so from both of these cases we get the value of x is equals to 256 so uh, this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos